Back at 742 this morning on Rawson Reports, stealing from the most vulnerable victims, seniors in nursing homes. And the people doing it may surprise you. Today, National Investigative Correspondent is here with more. Jeff, good morning to you. Hey, good morning, Carson. Look, officials say these thieves are absolutely the worst kind. They know their victims, even take care of their victims all the while robbing them blind. We're talking about the bookkeepers at nursing homes, the office managers, who are supposed to be managing patients' money and expenses, but instead they're raiding their accounts. This morning, what you need to know so your parents don't get swindled. I love that picture. Phyllis and Leo Foster wanted the best for his 89-year-old mother. She couldn't take care of herself, so they chose this top-rated nursing home in Mississippi. As her health declined, a heartless criminal moved in, targeting her. It made me feel sick at my stomach. It just didn't dawn on me that someone would be so low as to steal from a vulnerable adult. And who was stealing from her? This woman, Lee Martin, the nursing home's bookkeeper in charge of the patient's trust accounts. Martin was secretly raiding their money. In that three-month period, there were 12 or 15 cash withdrawals. We knew that there was something drastically wrong. Martin stole more than $100,000 from dozens of residents and went on a shopping spree at J.C. Penney, The Gap, and American Eagle. In one case, buying designer jeans and expensing them to an elderly resident with no legs. What we found was that it is just enormously easy for people to get away with this. And it's happened across the country. A USA Today investigation discovered more than 100 cases prosecuted since 2010 involving thousands of residents' accounts. In most states, there are no audit requirements. The people who do the nursing home inspections really aren't looking closely at the books for these trust funds. And officials say there's another loophole. In most states, there are no background checks for nursing home administrators. Jim Hood is the Mississippi Attorney General. You know, what I've found about embezzlers, they're going to do it again. Lee Martin, convicted of this crime, can actually go to another state and get the same exact job at another nursing home because most states don't require criminal background checks. That's correct. I think we ought to have mandatory background checks for anybody that works in a nursing facility. The industry says it supports regulations, and this type of theft is rare. Lee Martin's facility fired her and turned her into police. She should be home. She's on house arrest, after all. We tracked Martin down after she pled guilty. She wouldn't talk to us, but her dad did. Why did she do it? I mean, she took advantage of these elderly, sick people who really were helpless, you know, the most vulnerable victims. I I just couldn't tell you. She wasn't brought up like that. You didn't bring her up like that? No, 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 no. Lee Martin's nursing home reimbursed all the residents and implemented additional management controls to stop fraud. Look how happy she is there. But Phyllis and Leo Foster say until the government cracks down at all homes, there will be more elderly victims. It would protect every person in the nursing home. People who can't help themselves, people that can't protect themselves. So how do you protect your family? Here is the takeaway for you. Ask the nursing home for a monthly statement that you can check for yourself. That's how the Fosters realized their mother was victimized. Even better, request the actual receipts for any purchases made for your loved one. That way you can spot anything that seems shady. The good news, victims often get their money back. Nursing homes are required to have insurance that covers this type of theft. But still, the fact that this even happens in the first place is is heartbreaking. Yeah, Why don't they have background checks? That's what that attorney general wants to know, and he's hoping that stories like this may change the law. Well, thanks for bringing it to light. Jeff, have a great weekend. Thank Thank you you very much.